They were not giants, but their skulls were. Hidden for over 50 years, a new chapter in human evolution was waiting to be told, in silence. In the 1970s, in the cold soils of northern China, fossils were quietly uncovered at a place called Shu Jiayao. No fanfare, no headlines, just stone tools, animal bones, and 16 ancient skeletons. Half a century passed. Then came a second look. Two scientists, Christopher Bay from Hawaii and Xu Jie Wu from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, dusted off the past to reveal a new hominin, Homo juluensis. Julu, a Chinese phrase meaning huge head. And that is exactly what they found. The skulls were like nothing seen before, 103 to 109 cubic inches in volume, far beyond the average of modern humans or even Neanderthals, where our ancestors averaged 1,000 to 350 cubic centimeters. These beings boasted 1,700 to 1,800. Their brains were larger, perhaps their lives more complex. But one truth stood out. These were not Homo sapiens, nor were they Neanderthals, and certainly not just another variant of Homo erectus. They were something else entirely. 300,000 to 50,000 years ago, Asia was teeming with archaic humans. China, Japan, Korea, Southeast Asia, all carried echoes of multiple hominin lineages, each one adding confusion to an already tangled evolutionary tree. Until Bei and Wu reorganized the fossils, they grouped them with fresh eyes and began to see a new pattern, a map of skulls, jaws, teeth, each connected by subtle similarities, from Xu Jiayao to Denisova, from Xiaha to Penghu, Homo juluensis wasn't just an isolated case, it was a species hiding in plain sight. Now comes the controversy. The Denisovans, long considered a distinct species, known only through fragments, a pinky bone, a tooth, powerful genetics, mysterious identity, but what if they weren't separate at all? The molars of Denisovans and Homo juluensis, almost identical in size, in shape, in surface complexity. Could it be the Denisovans were just a branch of Homo juluensis? If true, it could rewrite the story of our ancient cousins and collapse two species into one. What kind of world did Homo juluensis inhabit? A frigid glacial age where winter stretched endlessly and survival meant adaptation. They hunted wild horses, butchered them for meat, bone marrow, and hide. They carved tools from stone, used horse skin for warmth, lived in small scattered groups. Their numbers were always few. Perhaps that's why we found so little of them. 120,000 years ago, the last of them likely vanished, swept away by the waves of Homo sapiens, but not entirely forgotten. For within the genes of modern humans lingers the quiet trace of Denisovans. If Denisovans were Homo juluensis, then their legacy survives within us. We carry them still. Science is not static. It bends with new discoveries, and even older bones can whisper new truths. As Bei and Wu wrote, the fossil record of East Asia is more complex than we ever imagined. The puzzle is still missing pieces. There may be more like Homo juluensis, more unknown branches on the tree of humanity. In the caves of China, in the valleys of Asia, in the hidden layers of time, who else is waiting to be found? Homo juluensis. The big-headed ancestor who changed everything.